If it's creating a buzz in high school sports, you will find it right here. It's The Scene with me, Jane Slater. Last week, we told you about Roderick Pleasant's wind-aided 10-16 in the 100-meter dash at California's Southern Section Championships. Well, this past weekend, Pleasant raised the bar once again with a wind-legal 10-14 in the 100 to blow away the competition at the Southern Section Masters meet. That broke the California state record of 10 5 which was tied just last year by USC commit Damani Jackson of Modern Day High School. The mark of 1025 had stood for 37 years, but now the record belongs to Pleasant, a junior at Sarah High School, who should be a very highly recruited athlete over the next year in both football and track. In soccer, the Thompson sisters, Alyssa and Giselle, made history last week by becoming the first high school athletes to sign name, image, and likeness deals with Nike. Alyssa, a junior, was the National Gatorade Player of the Year in 2021, and Giselle, a sophomore, just helped USA Soccer win the U-17 CONCACAF Championship. Both girls are verbal commits to Stanford. You can check out our feature on the Thompson Sisters at sportsstarsoftomorrow.tv. Different states are moving at different speeds when it comes to approving NIL deals for high school athletes. California is one with no restrictions. Ohio, on the other hand, struck down a proposal last week that would have allowed high school athletes to earn NIL money. The proposal failed by an overwhelming margin, too, with member schools in Ohio voting 538 to 254 to strike it down. Currently, just nine states have approved clear NIL regulations for athletes. Those are Alaska, California, Colorado, Kansas, Louisiana, Nebraska, New Jersey, New York, and Utah. Allen High School in Texas moved pretty quickly to find its new head coach. Lee Wigginton will take over for Chad Morris, the former SMU and Arkansas head coach who stepped down at Allen a couple weeks ago. Wigginton comes from Midlothian Heritage, a program he has coached since its inception in 2016. He went 61-19, and won four district titles in just six years there. Now to Nebraska for a wild state championship game in baseball. Millard West met rival Millard South in the Class A title game and jumped out to a commanding 8-0 lead in the first inning. And they were up 9-0 before Millard South stormed back and ultimately took the lead on a six-inning grand slam by Vanderbilt commit Cam Kozel. But with the game tied at 10 in the seventh, Millard West A.J. Tauber walked it off with a solo homer to win the game and give Millard West its second state title in three years. That wasn't the only drama at the Nebraska State Championships. Check out the final play of the Class B title game. That is Ryan Harahill of Elkhorn North going all out and flipping over the wall. He makes that incredible catch to end the game. Elkhorn North defeated Waverly 2-0 to capture its first ever state title. Harahill is a junior and verbal commit to Nebraska. Finally, a high school sport you definitely don't see in every state, but it fits perfectly in Louisiana. We're talking fishing. Yes, Louisiana has a high school fishing league. 75 teams competed last weekend in Bossier City and nearly 200 bass were caught. Calvary High School took home the trophy. The high school fishing league has its championship next month to conclude the season. Be sure to follow Sports Stars tomorrow on all of our social media for all kinds of bonus content, including a preview of our upcoming episode. This week's show includes a feature with Duke commit Derek Lively from Westtown School in Pennsylvania. And of course, if you missed any features from the show, they're all waiting for you on our website, sportsstarsatomorrow.tv. I'm Jane Slater. Join me back here next week on The Scene.